Do you want to be happy every single day of your life? I read this book called The Happy Mind and I tell you it was a game changer. It was a life changer. Four of the things that I learned from the book are number one, pleasure and happiness is not the same thing. Number two, happiness does not depend on external factors. Number three, happiness is all about the present. Not about the future, not about the past, but about the present. Number four, happiness is not delivered by other people. All right, we all have a tendency to associate happiness with nouns. Nouns like new cars, gadgets, houses. It's true that gadgets and other nouns bring in moments of pleasure. But the more you become dependent on these external factors, cars, houses, and other gadgets, the less happy you will be. Happiness is an experience. An experience takes place in the present. Remember, happiness and pleasure is not the same thing. Pleasure is a sensation. Happiness is a state. Pleasure is short-lived, happiness is long-lived. Pleasure is emotional, happiness is inner peace. Pleasure is the activity of the five senses, happiness is inner calmness. Pleasure is external, happiness is internal. You want to be happy every single day of your life? Did you know that happy people share similar traits? And I put forward six of those traits that you can share with other happy people. Trait number one, happy people enjoy simple things in life. Flowers, for instance. Trait number two, happy people are grateful for simple things in life. Health, for instance. Happy people appreciate the things they have as opposed to craving for things that they don't have. Trait number four, happy people forgive easily. Trait number five, happy people celebrate success of their friends and relatives. Trait number six, happy people accept the uncertainty in life. Now, there are four things that we ought to stop doing in order to be happy. First of all, we need to stop depending on external factors. Number two, we ought to stop ignoring our own needs. Number three, stop controlling other people or trying to control other people. Number four, stop aiming for perfection. You know the key problem I learned from the book? The key issue that I learned from the book? I'll be happy if this happens. I'll be happy if that happens. I'll be happy if I get that job. I'll be happy if I buy a Mercedes Benz. This is about confusing pleasure with happiness. Someone very intelligent once said, and I quote, I'm careful not to confuse excellence with perfection. Excellence I can reach for, perfection is God's business. This book gave me a lot and I wanted to share it with everyone. Thank you so much.